All right, you guys. Got a good bit of scenario for you guys for the General Mills and Kellogg cereal deals slash scenarios I talked to you guys about in the live last night. Okay, so it ends September 28, 2019 for these uh, prices and stuff. DQ equals digital coupon. PQ equals paper coupon. GM equals General Mills. All right, and our Sunday word of the day is cereal. Equals cereal. You can eat some cereal in the morning. Sadly, I say that. Okay, so scenario one, you can save two dollars mm -hmm. on General Mills. So, um, you want to get three General Mills cereal, which I have, you know, identified. Like it's a Honey Nut Cheerios, ten point eight ounce, Cocoa Puff, ten point four ounce, Lucky Charms, ten and a half ounce. But they're three for six this week. But here's the thing: they won't specify sizes and specified uh General Mills or whatever and Kellogg's, but in this case, we're talking about General Mills only, because we also have a coupon that talks about saving $2 off a of 10 of any General Mills product, and Chex Mix is included, so we're going to get four of the dollar Chex Mix, I couldn't remember the sizes of the dollar ones, so anyway, they're usually like in a dollar food aisle, get four of those, at, so they're a dollar each, makes it four dollars, so your total is ten dollars before discounts, your two off 10 General Mills DQ is going to come off, making eight dollars, your dollar off two uh, General Mills cereal DQ is going to make it $7. And you're going to use two of the 50 cent off two Chase Mix paper coupons. Uh, so that's going to make it a dollar. So, so in other words, seven minus a dollar is six dollars or seven items at 86 cents each item. <clears throat> Scenario one and a half is also going to be a save two on General Mills. In this case, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Get three of the General Mills cereals. But we're going to get two of the bigger Chex Mix um, bags. So it's going to be the 8.75 ounce bags of Chex Mix. They're $2 each. Makes it $4 for those. All together is $10 before discounts. Your two off 10 General Mills DQ is going to come off making it $8. Your dollar off two General Mills cereal DQ is going to make it $7. Your dollar off 50 cents um, oh, off two of the Chex Mix PQs is only going to be one of them. There one, it's only going to be one fifty cent off two checks and paper coupons. I'm sorry, y'all. So in other words, seven dollars minus fifty cents is going to make it six fifty or seven items at a dollar thirty cents each item. Scenario two, you're going to save two dollars on General Mills, and in this case, you're going to get two of the three for six varieties. Um, it has more than these three, but feel free to look. Uh, Look at the other choices or whatever. But it's going to make it $12. Your two off 10 General Mills uh, DQ is going to make it $10. Your dollar off two General Mills cereal DQ is going to make it $9. Then you're going to use two of the dollar off two General Mills cereal paper coupons. Uh, so in other words, nine minus two is going to make it $7 or six items at $1.17 each item. And here's the thing on that. Uh, where you see... Uh, the two in parentheses or whatever, dollar off two general meals, paper coupons. It's going to be used two of them because your DQ is going to cover two of the um, cereals. Then you're going to have uh, two paper coupons cover two other sets of uh, cereal. Then you're going to have four cereal left. All right, then scenario three, we're going to save a dollar on general meals. In this case, we have one paper, one digital coupon to use. We're just going to go do the basic. And buy three General Mills cereal that qualifies uh, for the three for six. It says it's going to make it $6. Take away your dollar off two General Mills cereal DQ. So it's an all digital scenario right there. Makes it $5 or seven items at 86 cents each item. So you're still saving a good bit. Especially when their regular price are good more than that. They want to say $3 each. So that's like $9. So having them three for six, you're saving $3 automatically with the, with the sale. Use your dollar off coupon, then you're making them five. So, yeah, doing good. <laughs> Scenario four, you're gonna save two dollars on Kellogg's. Now, on Kellogg's, they have their they also have they also have specified uh cereals that you can use. And for our digitals, we have the you know if we're gonna use digital coupons with them, what we gotta do and everything else. So anyway, uh, Frosted Flakes at thirteen and a half ounce, the Raisin Bran Crunch to fifteen point nine ounce, the Special K Red Berries to eleven point two ounce. Makes it three for six. Then we need another one because we're going to use that coupon that says save two dollars on four uh, Kellogg cereals. So I added another Frosted Flakes. 
So it makes it $3 because it's regular price. So $9 minus two off four of the Kellogg's digital coupon makes it $7 or four items at $1.75 each. At $1.75 each. But anyway, you can redeem what I bought them on your Frosted Flakes at Dollar General, uh, 50 cents on each one. So we got two of them in this case, so it takes away a dollar. So it's gonna make it six dollars or four items to the dollar fifty each, each item. Of course, if you made all of them frosted flakes, you'll save more, which I'm gonna have a scenario for that, but not this one. Scenario four and a half, you're gonna save three dollars on Kellogg's. In this case, we got instead of getting uh it says it's like on the digital coupon, it says when you buy five, you'll save three dollars. Well, instead of me getting just five because I got five, it still would have been the same price because the sale three for six mm -hmm. and each one of three dollars each. So I was like, let me get more bang for my buck and go ahead and do two, two three for sixes. So it makes it twelve dollars minus your three all five Kellogg's DQ makes it nine dollars or six six items at all fifty cents each item. Then you're gonna redeem with Ibotta two of the fifty cent frosted flakes that I got on here. Makes uh, takes away a dollar, makes it eight dollars, or six items at a dollar thirty three cents each item. Once again, if you made them all frosted flakes, you'll save more. Uh, but it's a limit of five, so let's keep that in mind for our bottom. Okay, so scenario five. This is the one you save five dollars on Kellogg's. In other words, I combined both scenarios together. I have nine uh cereals right here. So all of them three for six. So it makes it $18 minus your two all four Kellogg's DQ. It's gonna make it $16 minus your three all five Kellogg's DQ. It's gonna make it $13. And then, or nine items at $1.44 each item. I got three Kellogg's Frosted Flakes in there. Uh, so that takes away $1.50 or $11.50 for nine items at $1.28 each item. So in other words, if I was to do the full limit of five of the Kellogg's, all I gotta do is add uh, two more Kellogg's in there, switch out maybe uh, Special K or Racing Brand on two of them, and there'll be an additional dollar taken off. So it'd been ten fifty for nine items. So keep that in mind. Scenario six, we're gonna get four of the Frosted Flakes, thirteen and a half ounces. This is another. This is a scenario I'm showing you guys what I'm talking about. So you got one set that's three for six, and then other one you got buy a set for three dollars. So it's nine dollars minus your two all four Kellogg's DQ makes it seven dollars, or four items at a dollar seventy five cents each item. Redeem what I bought up for fifty cents off each Frosted Flakes. That's a total of four Frosted Flakes mm -hmm. at fifty cents each makes it seven dollars minus two dollars, or five dollars for four items making it a dollar twenty five cents each item. Last scenario I got for you guys is the three Frosted Flakes by itself. No digital coupon, but we're only using our bottle for rebates or for money back. So three for six, take away, sorry, three for six, uh, or three items at $2, $2 each item. <laughs> Redeem what I bought her at 50 cents each. So 50 cents times three, that's $1. fifty. So $6 minus $1. fifty is four fifty for three items at $1. fifty cents each item. Feel free at any point in time to slow down this video, screenshot, whatever you need to do. Uh, I know I, I pretty much like to run through the videos pretty fast. That way they won't be that long and you won't get bored or you'll be like, oh my gosh, you know. But anyway, I'll go out here and get this syrup. And thank you guys for watching. This is Couponing Without Sunday.